Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. I've been teaching the Chinese martial arts full time for nearly 15 years now, and in that time I've seen the landscape change a lot. When I first began teaching full time, I was a college student going to Arizona State University, and now I'm teaching over 300,000 of you here on YouTube. And that's what this video is all about, is to thank you guys for joining my Shaolin Center YouTube channel about the Chinese martial arts, including Tai Chi, Kung Fu, and Qigong. Because yesterday, we had a huge milestone. We hit 300,000 followers, and we're approaching 50 million views, which to me blows my mind. Teaching the martial arts has been overwhelming for me here on YouTube because so many of you now follow us. I'm overwhelmed with direct messages on my Instagram, which is Jake Mace Tai Chi. I get messaged all the time at my Facebook, the facebook.com slash jakemace.taichi, and many of you email me all throughout the day, hundreds of emails a day at the jakemace.com email system. I try to answer everybody's emails, but I know I miss some, so if you haven't gotten a response yet, please put it in the comments down below. I'll try to get it. I try to stay active on YouTube the 30 minutes to an hour after a new video posts. So if you jump in really quick and ask me a question or leave a comment, I'll be sure to see it in the comments down below. But listen, we have nearly 700 new people joining our channel every day and we have 2.5 million new views every month. What that shows me is that the Chinese martial arts is still alive. People still have an interest in what the Shaolin Temple started back in the 500s AD. So to start this video today, I wanted to say shishie to all of you. My pungyo, woda pungyo. I wanna say thank you for watching and making our YouTube channel what it is. Yes, we have haters, but I love the haters. The haters, you guys who hate my guts, you're my favorite people because you watch the videos the most. And those of you who get the most out of the videos, whether it's fitness, training, self-defense, confidence, history, meditation, wellness, peace, comfort with your own self, I especially thank you guys, the 99% of you guys who love our videos, you're the ones who I make videos for. Thank you for hitting thumbs up, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, thank you for training, because if we stop training, the art dies. And in this video, I wanna say thank you for 300,000 followers by giving you guys three of my favorite moves in all of Chinese Gong Fu, and they start right now. I showed these three moves on my Instagram account a few weeks ago. They went kind of viral. You guys really enjoyed them. So right now I want to show you guys the technique and then I want to show you the move in full speed. My friend and longtime student Nathan Morrison agreed to help me out today, so thank you for the help. He's going to be donating his body so you guys learn these techniques, so please say thanks to Nate in the comments down below. This first technique must be trained solo with no partner. So if you're a kid out there watching, I want you to get up right now. If you're an adult out there watching, get up right now. Whether you're an adult or a kid, everybody jumps in for this. Have the hands in a general fighting position, hands up. That can mean here, that can mean here, that can mean here, that can mean here. I've learned many different kinds of fighting stances. So whatever your hands are doing, keep them up and in front. I want you to root on the front leg. This leg does not move. The back foot is gonna sweep around 360 like this and come back into the same position with good balance and no falling. Let's do it again. Good stance, bend those legs. Back foot sweeps around in the same position and hold it. 360, again, good position right here. Back foot. And I want this done about 100 times. Push, pause, get started. Don't get too nauseous. Here we go. Stage two of this move we call the tiger tail sweep involves your partner. I want your partner to have a good strong stance. I want you to go only about 10%, very slowly. Now the goal is gonna be to use your hands and your butt. To start this move off correctly, we take one step toward the back and that's gonna give us the angle we need. So again, we're fighting somebody square in front, take one step toward the back. Again, one more time, one step toward the back. Now once we're there, put your palms on the ground, like this, do it. And from there, my back leg, the left leg, extends and goes around and touches Nathan's leg right there. And that's the move. I get a whole class doing this because slow and steady wins the race. 
slow it first, and then later we'll do it full speed. We're gonna hack the foot and push his toes to the front until he's off balance. And then back up to my feet. So watch again, here we go, from here. Step to the back, get that angle, palms to the floor. Now straighten your left leg and spin it around behind you. Sit on your butt cheek and then slowly hack your partner's leg until their foot slides out, just like that, knocking them down. One more time, I get that angle going back, palms to the ground, straighten your left leg, swing it out, and cut through them. Notice how that time it was a little bit more smooth. So we gradually increase the smoothness. One more time, take one step to the back, palms to the ground, extend the left leg, sit on your butt cheek, and knock them down. Let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like, full speed and in slow motion. The second move for this video is found in our tiger style. And this move is similar to the footwork you find in boxing. Side stepping left, side stepping right, slipping the jab by stepping into the punch, slipping, slipping, and narrowly escaping the punches being thrown at you. So I have my tiger claws in front, my stance is rooted, and I want you guys just to step forward in 45. Then back to position. Again, forward in 45, back to position. Do it again, forward 45, back to position. Notice I'm not stepping straight, no, 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 no. I'm stepping 45. Again, stepping 45. Do it again, 45. Now other foot in front. Tiger claws in front, pull those claws strong. Now right foot step 45, and back to position. 45, back to position. Two more. So Good, simple solo practice. Let's bring our partner in. Now for move number two with a partner, your partner is gonna have their butt cheek pointed toward you because they're gonna be working off of a side kick right for the body. Okay, even let them do a few side kicks so that they get their kicks in before this move starts. Come on, give me some. Yeah, oh God, again, I love it. Ah, again, I like it, I can take it. Ah, good. So let them train some side kicks then I want you guys to train how to sidestep the sidekick because I don't want to get kicked by Nathan. And how much do you weigh, Nathan? 160. 160. I do not want to get kicked by Nathan. His kicks are pretty good, pretty hard. But I also do not want to get kicked by a 260 pounder. That'd be 100 pounds more in the leg, right? So make sure that you don't want to fight fire with fire. You want to fight fire with water by sidestepping. So here we go. Let's do five in a row. Claws up. When he goes for that side kick, sidestep it and back to position. Again, sidestep it, back to position. Make sure your partner throws a hard side kick right at you and doesn't kick away from you. Make it realistic. Come in for that side kick, step it. Again, sidestep it. Three more, sidestep. Faster, harder. Oh, good, very nice. So we're gonna be slipping that strike. And what I was taught by my teachers was that even if they make contact, they hit you, as long as you're sidestepping, at least 50% of the energy will go somewhere else. And that can be the difference between a concussion or getting the air knocked out of you and surviving. And finally, when he throws that side kick, I sidestep it. I come in immediately with my hand posting up top and my rear leg throwing a nice sweep to his bottom leg below the calf and push the toes the direction that they're pointing. So below the calf and knock them down. Depending on how much you like the person, that will determine how hard and how brutal you are in the practice. Here we go again, he goes for the side kick, sidestep it, post up top, lunge in for that front sweep, 
and take out his bottom leg. Let's do it again. One more time, that side kick comes in, sidestep it, post up top, throw that sweep. Knock him down, and here is what it looks like in full speed and slow-mo. Our third and final move is done solo first for technique. So copy my sequence here. Raise the leg, block high. Step to the left and go chop, then go side hand, then scrape off, come back to monkey stance, and then lunge in to double punch to a bow stance. Let's do it again. From this position, block left, slam it out, chop left, side hand left, scrape back monkey, Double fist, boom, out to a nice solid bow stance. Work those legs, baby, work them. Two times from the back view, same movement. Raise up, chop, side hand, scrape off monkey, lunge in, boom, double hit to bow. And final time, raise up, block, chop, side hand, scrape and crouch monkey, Boom, double punch out. This is gonna be working off self-defense for a roundhouse kick. Nate, come on back in. This third final technique is gonna be defense for a good roundhouse kick. So I teach my students the power of jamming up the kick. Just like a kid who's playing baseball and goes against a pitcher for the first time. A lot of kids are scared of the ball and they go away from it and they try to face it and boom, those kids get hit in the face. A lot of kids who learn correctly learn to step into the ball and turn the back and that way they're jamming the ball and exposing a part of their body to the ball that won't get as injured. Kicking is the exact same thing. When Nate goes for his roundhouse kick, if I go back and look at it, he's gonna obliterate me right in the face. Whoa, right? I've seen so many brown belt martial artists spar black belt martial artists and the black belts throw kicks at their face and the brown belts always get tagged because they're trying to be away from them and that just allows the black belt to get maximum velocity through that foot, bam! And they're taken out. So a better defense technique for beginners to practice is to jam the kick. When it comes in, step into it and jam it before it reaches its terminal velocity. Here we go again. Step in, jam the kick. And use those hands right here. That is that monkey move we did earlier. When we go hit, hit, scrape off to monkey. We're blocking the kick before it comes in, jamming it, and then immediately chambering for that pow, double punch inside there. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes. How did that punch feel against your ribs? Pretty solid. Pretty solid. What I'm trying to get to is that on Instagram, when I showed this move, I got trolled by some people saying there's no way that move has enough power to do damage. I totally disagree with the trolls in this case. So in the comments down below, tell me what you think. Does my double punch have enough power behind it to induce a knockout when hitting the body or to the face? Tell me down below. So again, here's the move straight out of Mantis Kung Fu. Jam the kick, block it, immediately chamber and come in quick. Ha! And that double punch, palms face toward each other, one going to the upper ribs, one going to the liver point, 13, bang! And try to seal the chi between the points. So Nate, throw that roundhouse kick and tell them, what am I doing in addition to closing the gap and jamming the kick? Jamming your elbow in my foot. My elbow is going into his foot. So every time he kicks me, he's getting the reinforcement of an elbow into his foot. So as we are sparring, and the match continues, he's gonna want less and less to throw that kick. So here it comes from this angle. Roundhouse kick comes in, jam it, immediately rechamber, boom, double punch coming in that way. Now, what if he throws a kick punch combination? My hands are in front to still block. So here we go. Jam it, block it, move in, pa, double hit again. One more try. Jam, block, boom, double hit. Let me show you guys what it looks like, full power and in slow-mo. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments which technique is your favorite to practice and to train. Number one, number two, number three, as always in the comments, tell me who you think would win the fight, Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee. Please say thanks to Nate. He's so nice to donate himself to this science experiment, which is Chinese martial arts. Thank you guys for joining my YouTube channel. Please share this video, hit the like button, add it to your favorites, and thank you so much for 300,000 people joining us here at the Shaolin Center channel and almost 50 million times our videos have been viewed. I'm so grateful. My ego is non-existent. I'm humble before you guys. I give you a humble bow, left hand on top. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys back here for our next video. And then close down this way. Oh, 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 oh,